Righto, Toyota champs. Now, Apple have just released some new iPads, Wolf. But yeah, nah, you know you can do Apple with your iPads. You can stick them where the sun don't shine. And actually, it has nothing to do with them not being a good product. They are great for what they are. They are the best tablet in the world. Like, who else makes a better tablet? Especially the entry-level one, the just normal iPad. I'll get to the Pro in a sec. i got stuff to say about the Pro. Don't you worry there. But the normal iPad, it's really good. It lasts a long time. My son loves his iPad. And it's really old, that iPad. These things last forever. And that's actually a big problem for Apple because they, they're just too good. They last too long. The actual iPad I've got, it's got one of those mechanical buttons. It doesn't have those simulated buttons. That's how old it is. And it actually doesn't even support pencil. And at this point of the video, you might be saying, what are you talking about? They're a big fail if you're talking so positive about them well that's sort of where it ends these ipads are great for you know content consumption you know basic productivity emails and stuff like that and when i think about it it's like well what can i do on an ipad that i can't do on my phone anyway yeah there's some niche stuff that pros would use like especially if you're an artist and you draw and mock up and stuff like that yeah all right and there might be two blokes in the world that hook up thunderbolt stuff and multiple displays and stuff like this but come on i would rather put out a campfire with my face than use an ipad as a computer and now we're talking about the ipad pro apple get the memo this ipad os is just the clunkiest piece of crap it's great for touch for just doing your normal basic stuff that you would do on your iphone bit of productivity and yeah for drawing and stuff yeah okay but for a computer yeah nah apple just let us go into the settings and be able to go into pro mode and use mac os just let us do that and then you'll take this ipad pro to another level because the thing is you can use it as a computer but it is as clunky as hell with this operating system this ipad os and people say it's small it's light and all this if you want to use your ipad as a computer then you've got to get the keyboard you've got to get this and you can make it like a surface but yeah without the power right you can't use a you know a proper operating system and the thing is once you put all the keyboard and all that all the benefits of it being like a small compact lightweight device that you can carry around they're all gone now it's just like the worst laptop in the world clunky operating system clunky keyboard mechanisms and all these connecting to it it's just as heavy as a normal laptop now it's just what and i've seen photos of it you know you can use da vinci now wow big friggin deal who's going to be using this clunky operating system with da vinci and connecting stuff to it and just come on man if it had mac os proper mac os now we're talking now we're cooking with gas but as it stands now, I don't care if it gets Da Vinci Final Cut. Maybe Logic it might be alright with. But Apple, get the memo. Give us the power, man. We need Mac OS on the iPad Pro and you got yourself one of the best computers in the world as it stands now. I don't care what they do as long as they got this clunky operating system and yeah, adding all the stuff to make it a computer makes it even clunkier. You can stick it where the sun don't shine, Apple. Uh, what do you guys think? I mean, yeah, these things are powerful, great, but hey. Most of the stuff I can do on my phone anyway, so what's the point of it? Anyway, catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.